Hi guys, it's Michael here. So today I'd like to talk to you on how to move your content from old Kindle to your new new device, okay? Whether it's a new Paperwhite or a new Kindle Voyage uh, or one of those new uh, Kindle Touch, Kindle 7, I believe, 7th generation. So anyway, uh, sometimes you have some of the content that was purchased and some of the content that uh, was maybe downloaded through some websites or it's not really through the amazon.co.uk website so how do you transfer all of it once you have a new kindle okay so what do you do first is that once you get a new device just basically go through all the steps on the screen okay i have a video uh, where I explain how to do it, so I will post it in the description down below. Uh, once you register a device, there are kind of two ways of, of transferring all this data, okay? So one of them is that we plug the old device. So if your old device is still working, okay, you can plug it into either tablet or PC and you can copy all the content, okay, all the documents from that device and then you could paste that into your new device, okay? And the benefit of that is that all the content that you haven't purchased through Amazon, you will be able to get this on your new device, okay? The disadvantage of that, all the content that was purchased from Amazon, so all the protected content by DRM, Digital Rights, uh, protection um, this will not show up on your device so you will have to actually download that from a cloud or through the website okay uh, I will basically show you right now how to move or how to copy and paste the content from your Kindle okay and then I will also show you how you can transfer so the device will sync it with the content that was purchased from your Amazon okay I hope that's clear enough and let's show you how to how to do it okay so the first thing is that you need a pc or a tablet okay in my case i unfortunately don't have a pc so i will have a tablet here and what i will do i will just show you what kind of folder you have to copy from your device so in my case i have a otg cable here i have a normal uh, USB to micro USB cable that I need to plug in. I just match both of these together And what you can do if you have a PC, it's much much more simple. You just have to plug in your Kindle directly to your computer. So once I Plug that in Basically my tablets asking me whether I want to allow for this communication to happen and it's granted and it's and it's showing up as a folder this is actually the usb that i've plugged in so this is actually the kindle folder okay there will be two folders that you will see documents and systems once you select the documents okay this one contains all the stuff that you have purchased and that you have copied uh, to your kindle okay so the content that may have been downloaded through torrents or maybe some websites stuff that wasn't bought through amazon.co.uk or amazon.com uh, website okay so what you do basically is that you go back okay and we copy the whole folder okay we just basically copy and it's copying all this stuff uh, to my tablet okay if you have a computer you just right click on it copy paste it on your desktop okay and then I will see you in a second okay so we have everything copied right now okay and what you do you basically unplug the device and you plug your new you plug your new Kindle and you actually paste that folder back to your new Kindle okay I, I don't have a new Kindle okay so I cannot show you how it works but basically once you copy that to your computer or tablet you just paste that back to your to your Kindle Kindle device okay 
and once you switch on your device you should see books coming up okay these books it won't be everything i believe that it will be only the content that you've downloaded from third party websites so it won't include the purchase content okay in order to get the purchase content what you have to do is once you have your device okay what you have to do is go to cloud and you will see all the content that you basically purchased okay all the content that was purchased from amazon.co.uk so unfortunately but you have to individually select the books okay so um, it may take a couple of minutes so that's one way of doing it you can actually select the books that you've purchased and they will download to your device okay um, the other way of doing that okay is through the website right so once you have your device turned on you have the books that you've downloaded through let's say third-party websites you have a Wi-Fi of course you have you need a Wi-Fi switched on what you can do is you can go directly to Amazon website Amazon account okay and I will post the link down below it's basically amazon.co.uk or amazon.com depending on where you've uh, created or registered your account okay once you signed in you basically go to manage your content and devices okay once you select that just a second Okay, so you will see all the books that you have purchased through Amazon website, okay? So what you can do is select, let's say all of them, or you can actually go through them, decide which ones you'd really like to have on your new Kindle, okay? And you select deliver, and then it just confirms the titles and you select device where you'd like it to be sent. So you actually can send it not only to your new Kindle, but you can also send it maybe to your phone if you'd like, or maybe to your tablet if you have a Amazon Kindle um, application. So you can select, so we're selecting Michal's Kindle because that's mine. Let's say new Kindle and you select deliver, okay? And then once you have a, Wi-Fi switched on it should be no longer than a couple of minutes where all those books will be coming in Of course if there is loads of books if you have like more than 50 books Maybe this may take like you know 5 10 15 minutes So give it some time if you will see that after a couple of minutes. There's nothing happening Okay, just make sure first of all that you have uh, Wi-Fi switched on Obviously, I don't right now But that doesn't matter Um and once you have Wi-Fi, you can also select the sync and check for items, okay? So it will basically try to synchronize, connect to this account, make sure that there's no any changes. And it should actually get the information that the books are ready to be uh, transferred over to the new device, okay? And it will start spinning here. You will see the books coming in and uh, and that's that. So. By doing those two things, we're having all the books that you have got through third-party services or downloaded through torrents, wherever. And you also have books that you've purchased through Amazon, okay? Uh, what happens if you have broken your old device and you get a new one, okay? So with the steps here, what you can do, you definitely can go to the website or if you register, you can and re-download all the books that you've purchased okay with the books that you haven't purchased okay unfortunately unless the old broken device is not able to communicate with either pc or tablet and copy all those books you will have to try to find um, some kind of um, maybe a external hard drive or a place where these books were downloaded by you 
okay? So uh, this way you could actually recover them. I'm afraid that there is no way of getting them back on your device um, unless you have some kind of a copy of, of those books, okay? Uh, purchased content, no problem, but unfortunately with the content downloaded through torrents or any other means, uh, you may have troubles getting all those books back, okay? Um, so that will be it. If you have any comments, please uh, write them down below. I will also write some details and links in the description. Um, if you have any questions, anything at all uh, regarding Kindle, please don't hesitate to, to ask me. I will make a video. No worries at all. Okay. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, enjoy. Please subscribe if you can. And um, have a lovely day. Okay. Take care. Bye bye.